Well, the 3D uh, Trigate uh, device, uh, its key advantage is that it's a fully depleted transistor, meaning it has a, a much better uh, on-current versus off-current characteristics. Uh, uh, it has lower off-state leakage, or it can operate at a lower threshold voltage uh, than a, a traditional planar device. And that lower threshold voltage can uh, provide two types of benefits, either improved performance or the ability to operate that transistor uh, at a lower voltage. And if you operate transistors at a lower voltage, they have much lower active power. Uh, so the Trigate transistor provides uh, uh, up to a 50% reduction in active power compared to a, a, a planar transistor. Well, actually, our research group uh, started exploring uh, Trigate or FinFET type devices uh, back around 2001. So th this idea was slowly percolating uh, in our research group. Uh, and they were making progress, first making single fin devices, then multiple fin devices, and, and then some early SRAM cells. And then around uh, 2008, uh, Intel had to make a decision. Yeah, that was about the, uh, the, the time when we had to make a commitment for what we would do on 22 nanometers. Uh, and I was leading uh, the 22 nanometer pathfinding team or effort at that time, where I had uh, both engineers from the research group and engineers from the development team working together exploring the different options, including Trigate FinFET type devices, and if we could continue to uh, uh, scale uh, or extend uh, planar devices. Um, and the team, you know, both looked at some of the early devices that the research group had made and did some of our own simulations and concluded, well, although we could scale planar, it wouldn't be a very good device. It would have some performance and power gain, but really not enough to meet uh, uh, the expectations of our product design teams. And uh, the, the FinFET or Trigate devices that the research group had made uh, was showing some promise. So uh, well, we made that decision, kind of looked each other in the eye, said, can we make it? Can we not only deliver a transistor with the right performance and, and power capabilities, but can we actually do it in manufacturing, make this uh, a high volume, a high yielding technology? And uh, uh, the engineers I work with, they said yes. So that was the decision. Well, it, you know, I'm not, I can't say, I can't claim that we, uh, you know, fully completed, you know, the processing and evaluation of a planar device, but uh, our 32 nanometer planar devices are darn good devices. Uh, and, and getting beyond that, you know, coming up with new ideas to improve performance and reduce power, well, not only weren't there many ideas uh, on, on paper, but you know, the early silicon results just, just weren't uh, uh, much better. And uh, uh, what we were achieving both experimentally and what we could ach achieve uh, um, using uh, modeling techniques for Trigate uh, were much better than planar. So we became convinced pretty early on that was the big change, the big lever that we could apply to 22 nanometers. Well, we, we had to address two hurdles at the same time. Not only the conversion from a traditional planar structure to a uh, three-dimensional trigate structure, but also scaling from 32 nanometer dimensions to 22. So we had, had to kind of uh, deal with both of those challenges at, at the same time. Uh, now, the conversion from 32 to 22, that, that's maybe a traditional challenge. Every two years, you run into the same problem of learning how to make things smaller and still work. But now we had, a on top of that, a three-dimensional structure. We have to worry about uh, uh, you know, forming patterns on top of uh, uh, tall fins and, and uh, you know, getting everything uh, processed uh, correctly. Um, but you know, we had uh, uh, an early test vehicle. We had a, a large SRAM uh, test chip that uh, uh, first uh, was, was processed back in uh, uh, 2009. Uh, so for two years now we've had a very challenging uh, SRAM test vehicle to help us you know, recognize all the yield challenges, the yield problems, sources of defects, and, and start solving them one after another. And now we're at uh, pretty high yields and getting ready to uh, uh, start production shipments. Well, you know, what I said is not, not only are we uh, uh, about a year or a year and a half uh, earlier than other companies in introducing a new technology generation, uh, but we have uh, typically been a uh, a year earlier than other companies in introducing new revolutionary features like uh, silicon germanium strain silicon and then high K metal gate and, and now trigate uh, transistors. Uh, 
other companies have talked about doing uh, Trigate or FinFET devices on their 14 nanometer generation, you know, not on 20 or 22. So uh, by my estimates, uh, uh, that'll be about four years from now. Well, you know, we, we've thought about, uh, you know, fully inflated SOI devices, um, but we think uh, Trigate is a much better solution, uh, not only because it avoids the added cost of an SOI wafer, which can be significant, uh, but also you know, we believe uh, the Trigate transistor is a higher performance solution. And indeed, uh, you know, some of the best uh, fully depleted SOI papers that I've seen published uh, really don't have uh, uh, anywhere near as good a performance as our Trigate transistor. And, uh, probably not even as good as our 32 nanometer planar devices. So I think uh, the fully depleted SOI approach is still you know, behind uh, uh, these other options in terms of uh, performance and power. Uh, that, that you'll have to ask uh, one of the uh, you know, advocates of fully depleted SOI, <laughs> but uh, again, uh, experimentally or empirically, I uh, just haven't seen the types of uh, drive currents that uh, even a, a planar bulk transistor can provide. Well, of course, Intel is already committed to using Trigate at the uh, 22 nanometer generation. I uh, uh, also see this as uh, very extendable to our next uh, 14 nanometer generation. Um, but exactly what we'll use at 10, well, just have to wait for uh, uh, another meeting another time before we disclose that.